Right, spoiler section now. I've just <laughs> blown Joey's mind in the fact that it's Wing Chun fact. I don't know why I keep saying Wing Chun fact. Benedict Wong, and I just I just said to Joey, it's 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 the guy in who plays what was his name in the in the IT crowd. In the, he played the guy in the IT crowd where he's like the countdown champion. The countdown champion, <laughs> the countdown champion is like we, it's like normal countdown, but we play it on the street. <laughs> That's. All I was thinking through the film was oh, that really scene about that. where it's just oh. like when it's asking him questions. It's like it's like it's like regular magic, but we do it outside. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, Tilda Swinton. We completely forgot to mention Rachel McAdams. I love Rachel McAdams, but I mean, yeah. she's she does her part very well. Can, the thing is, you can you can you can t- you know why people are so annoyed with female Marvel characters being so to the sidelines. Because at the moment they are. If you've got you've got Black Widow, you've got um friggin' oh what's um Kobe Smolder's character called? Oh, Murray Hill. Murray yeah. Hill. Murray, yeah. It, it's side characters. They are, uh, even Black Widow get even, pushed yeah, to the side. Chuck, Black, no, they chuck Black Widow into a romance with Bruce Banner. Which I just came out of nowhere. Yeah, and I just put that's, that's out another film, but you, you know what I mean. Like even even Rachel's character, which uh, well, who's she's a doctor, Ra- doctor something. It, what's what's the name in the thing? I mean, I mean, just get it up. Put, say your point. What you were gonna say? My point. There isn't really any point. <laughs> there is no point. But you you know it. it yeah. It, they just need I, when this Marvel comes along. That'll yeah. Be fine. But anyway. I mean, Gamora gets a bit in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, true, true. But yeah, Christine, Christine, Christine. Yeah, of course it was. But yeah, right. Digressing. But I mean, I know that like basically all the heroes are male, so there's not really much they can do about that. Yeah, apart from changing the sex of some of them, they could do that. They could, they could infuse female form, and then I give me more Jane Foster with that one. Gonna work. <laughs> um, but yeah. We digress from the spoiler section, but that's a good point that we completely forgot about Rachel McAdams' yeah. character because, granted, it was good the fact that she didn't do a, a typical romance role. No, she was no. the essentially the helper, you know. She's kind of like a sidekick. Sidekick, sort of. but only in a certain capacity. The point that she was only used when he needed her. Yeah. She only kept, she was only there when she was needed, sort she of. Didn't, she, yeah, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't really add anything to the story or add anything to that. She was just there when needed. Yeah. But, anywho. <laughs> what, we, what, what, first point we were saying was about how, um, the origin story is really short, short and sweet. Yeah. You know, he goes, he asks uh, Christine to join him after he does this surgery and he's really cocky in it and he listens to music but I suppose that's sort of a way for him to calm him down, get into the zone, but it shows his arrogance a little bit. Yeah, well, then, well, well, well performing brain surgery, which I don't know, about surgery, probably one of the most complicated ones. Well, well he was, he was, uh, among the top of the most. He was, I don't know, what, the, what was the one he was doing the first one? He was doing something, he was like repairing something in the brain. I don't know, something along the line. And then listening to music, just having a nice little chat while he's doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he goes on and takes someone else's patient to remove a bullet from his brain by hand without any, I don't know, like medical... Yeah, he has, he has, he has a computer though. Yeah. But, a computer screen. But yeah, so he does that, blah blah blah, blah drives a Lamborghini, crashes. Yeah. Which is always Lamborghinis, isn't there? All CPUs have Lamborghinis in the Oh yeah, it's, it's quite, a, it's quite a, ob- yeah. it's kind of a striking car, but... Uh, was it the Aventador? I don't know, it was dark. But yeah, crashed. true, true, he crashed. Um, but yeah, he... The, the, the crap. The thing is, like, it was you a were, big crash. It was a it, it was, was a huge crash, crash, wasn't it? Yeah. Like it, it you see it so much. His hands go through. Um, yeah, they show the whole hand getting crushed thing to explain the thing. But, but I'm still, sorry, it was a massive crash. It could have toned the crash down slightly. It could have been he just span off or go heads into oncoming traffic. Yeah. But the thing is, when he went off, I'm oh, sorry. He's lucky to have any bones left. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? It was a big crash. His, his hands. He didn't lose any fingers. No, no, no. The fingers are fine. They've just been metal put into them to straighten them out again. But they're still there. They didn't get chopped off. They just got crushed. You know which... what I mean? Like, it could have been a bit more horrific. Yeah. You know, they could have changed that a little bit. Maybe had him a bit, you know... 
Yeah. That's the thing. But, the, the crash was just over the top. Yeah, they didn't need it to be that big. It, it no. did, that, yeah. that, that was one of the things. The first thing I thought was like, yeah, he's dead. He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> End of film. No more. Um, and it's when he crashed like, it, was it a substation he crashed into as well? The summit next to the wall. I don't know. It was something. Well, he was flying on that. He was trying to overtake, looking at a patient he was like thinking of taking. We had the Easter egg for Yeah, we had yeah. the very Easter egg. Very Easter egg. Um, and of course, he gets distracted, so he's knocked into the other car, spins off, just fucking flies on a bloody cliff, ends up in the water. Well, flies off like several things, doesn't he? So. Yeah, oh, I don't know. But anyway, that happens. Yeah, yeah. We'll move past it. Um, and, and of course, his hands are his living. Yeah, it's well, very needs, understandable. It needs to be, yeah, it's good because he, he needs a steady hand to do without yeah. it. He's useless. He can't, he can't do it. Um, he could, I don't think he'd barely be a scribe. Because he shows it when he can't even write, he can't, can't even write the name out. So, um, which is this is all very um, true to his actual origin in the comic books because he, in a car crash, crashed his hands and then crashed he crashed his, crash his hands. Crashed his hands. Crashed his hands. And he literally spent his entire wealth trying to fix his hands. Yeah. Using every single medical so means possible. It was, it, was, it, was not, it was a nice little thing because when you saw his apartment, all the things that were in there before yeah, just, are it gone. It was all disappearing slowly, yeah. which yeah. is very piano nice. Piano went... I think the, the, no, I think the piano was still there. No, I think the piano was gone at the end, because he was right. sitting, like, facing where it would be, it was just empty space. Right. And, like, I think some of his awards have disappeared as well. Maybe, I, I think know. I think some of his awards or something disappeared from his cabinet, like, maybe to melt it down for, like, the raw metal. Yeah, and, and, and then by the end, he's like, I need a loan so I can get this crap it's and everything. Thing. Thing. But that's when he finds out about, oh, what's his name? The guy. The guy. <laughs> the uh, cripple guy who miraculously healed himself. Yeah. Um, Did, well, are we supposed to know him? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. He had his name, didn't he? It was, it was something... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Pang, Pangborn. Jonathan Pangborn. Random person, but... Jonathan Pangborn. So, he finds out about that. He speaks to him. Lucian Strongzert. Not, not, not a standard there, it's a strong thing. <laughs> <Yeah, it's strong laughs> well, no, it gets better. It gets better on the MDB. <laughs> Poor old Allah Safi, Saf, Safi, tall zealot, and then <laughs> Katrina <laughs> Durden, <laughs> blonde <laughs> zealot. There's no other defining feature about her. Blonde zealot. <laughs> At least it's not female zealot. <laughs> female zealot. <laughs> the, girl, the woman. You know, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyway, we digress, but that, <laughs> that's what the IMD page is for his zealots. They kept, he only had like a few, but they kept appearing again. I don't yeah. know what was up with that. But anyway, um, so yeah, he, he talks to uh, Pang... Pangborn. <laughs> Speaks Pangborn, and he goes off to Kathmandu. Kathmandu? Oh, Kathmandu. Yeah, Kathmandu. Nepal. Uh, well, Nepal. It, yeah. Kathmandu, it, Everest. Yeah, that's great. Himalayans. Right. Yeah. Just, just misses uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, and all that. It's in the same universe, which is fine. Everest, the film. But I know that's a real wood event, but you know, who cares? Um, <laughs> you can like, pop that into Everest. Oh, hey guys. Yeah. He's climbing. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was good. It was good. That part where you just sort of went there, got there, done that, been there. Mor Mordo. Is it Mordo? Mordo. 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 Mordo yeah. Found him. To him to see the ancient one. It was good about the expectations. He thought the guy with only one hand was the king who sat in. Was yeah, because if I forget what you think you know, and then he obviously make or do something and everything to show they how, how to show how close-minded he is and everything. Um, and then he went on like the biggest LSD trip ever imaginable. <laughs> he even says like, "What is that LSD?" Well, what do you think of that scene where it's just literally him seeing all this random crap. Well, all the more, because you saw the dark verse or dark... Yeah, you whatever. saw the dark world or whatever it's called. Dark uh, world. Dorma, Dormammu's realm. But, like, all the other parts, like, the hand and his hand becoming hand, becoming hand, and then going into it. I think it's a cross between actually seeing it and the manipulation by her. Well, yeah, yeah, but, but what do you actually think of the scene? Cause... I, thought it was, I thought it was good just to see, like, some craziness. Yeah. But... It was like a bit like a, I think I think again that's one of the 3D moments. Most likely, it was I thought it just sort of went on a little bit too long. Yeah, it in did. That part. Yeah, it did. But that's what I said. I think it was just for the 3D moment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just sort of things to have him say, "Oh, teach me." And yeah. He went on. I mean, it, it was it was self-contained how he got his beard, cut his hair, looked more like 
the comic book character and then went on to train. He got the grasp of the thing quite quickly as well, but that was down to the fact he's super intelligent. He was a highly intelligent person. He studies ridiculously hard, as it was shown. Um, a few comedy moments where he like learns how to use a spell and making stuff from well, the that, library. That's what that's what I was thinking. Cause when uh, Benedict Wong's character, who was just called Wong, yeah, um, I think that's why I got thrown off. Why his name wasn't Wong? Because I thought oh, it was Wong. Why was he called Wong? Yeah. You know, but it's happened quite a few times that has. But I just I was just thinking like him saying. I just wanted him to say like, it's like it's like regular magic, but we do it outside. <laughs> It's quite dangerous. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm still yeah. thinking about. But yeah, it's, it's, it's great to see him in a decent role like that. I mean, it was, it's good. It's funny. But yeah, I, li- I liked it. I liked the self-containedness of the training thing he got to do. He did the whole Everest thing where he was like there. We there wasn't a montage, thankfully. There wasn't there a was montage. Mon- there wasn't no training no montage. montage. No, no training mind. montage. It was just a p- slow progression. And then I believe... The, the next key thing was the attack, wasn't it? Yeah, they thought of it because he had that bit in the library where they kind of like they explain little bits here and there. I mean, they like explain magic. Say it comes from its energy from all the different universes, mm. which I'm pretty sure is slightly different to how the comic book explains it. Probably, but this is the way they can do it. However, but yeah, you take- but what the thing I liked about the magic is the way they did it. The magic looked like it was ripped through because it was all sparking and. Yeah, it looked like it was a different. A bit uh, distorted and everything, so it wasn't like nice, clean and elegant. It looked like you were literally taking energy from something else and ripping it through into our universe. Which was, I, I think uh, it's it nice. a good representation of it. And then when you saw the Dark World magic, it was more um, like grey and you could see a clear difference in how they, they drew that energy from different sources and everything. Yeah, it's, it's good that is. Good. And that might tie into Wanda's kind of thing where she, hers is just like little bits of yeah, red. Yeah, so there's like chaos, chaos stuff. He will chaos magic, so that's why it's like red and... Yeah. Red, so. so yeah, Wanda's magic's different. Um, if it is magic, hopefully it is magic. Yeah, yeah. chaos magic. So that's, that, that's good in the sense that it shows differences between them. Um, I've left my phone over there. I need... I need, I need that. Funny. I need Name? that. Well, I need the names, don't I, just in case yeah. I forget them again. Um, but, yeah. So, it, so the biggest, the big, one of the biggest events in it was the, the fight in the, the different, what do you call them? What do they call them? The, I want to say, not shields, what are they called? The, the you know, the New York. Oh, uh, the sanctuary. Or... Sanctuary, the, the, the sanctuaries. I'm gonna go thank you. Thank you. So they, they, the Hong Kong one you don't see, although um, yeah, we, 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 do, we do. We do. won't get annihilated. It gets destroyed right at the end. But yeah, yeah. We, we see, we see a good sort of. It, it's a very good fight sequence because, as we were saying, like Doctor Strange gets sort of pulled into it because of the whole explosion in the English yeah. one, the London one, so he gets pushed into the one. So he's basically facing um, Mads... I can't even remember how it is. Something Elise or something. Um, he's basically facing... I'll bring it up again. Um, he's basically facing him, but because he's like not in tune with his powers yet, but he's learning. Yeah, he's kind of like struggling. He's, but, so he's getting beaten, but he had... Because he's got innate talent and a few of the artifacts around the shop are helping him. Yeah, he... he he uses his, um, where's IMDb? He uses his um, initiative yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. So you have the whole thing with him being pushed into the the different parts of the world, like Sahara yeah, and stuff like that. Like portals. Plus the cape helps, because the cape literally <laughs> beats Cape Beth Wingman ever. Yeah, literally destroys <laughs> quite a lot of, well, it, it was just the way he just sort of, he just grabbed his head and was just <laughs> smashing it against the floor. I mean, he helped him to find the night, trying to get away, like, no, no, don't worry, I'll take this guy out, you carry on, I'll deal with this person. Yeah, I mean, that like, was after he was stabbed, wasn't it? Because he, he, yeah. he opened the portal and the cape like, sort of grabbed. You get away, I'll deal with this person, you go kill yourself. So, yeah, so that happened, and then it was sort of like, we got the nice scene where he was out of his body experience with yeah. uh, Rich McAdams' Christine. And then they had the fight with the guy 
in the extra, extra what's it called, extra the astral plane, the astral plane, and you know, like, like flying around. It was still like zero gravity fighting. So. Yeah, and it was good the way it showed like them interacting with the different the environment, yeah, like, how, how their ghostly forms, which points to the ghosts at, at some point possibly. Okay. Um, you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's what ghosts are in this world, extra dimensional astro plane walkers. Um, so, and then we don't, it's the energy transfer, isn't it, between the shock, the defibrillator. Yeah, him getting defibrillated and then he kind of like somehow burns that guy out through magic. But I, I wouldn't have thought, it, if it destroyed him, it would have destroyed him, like destroyed the guy, or, or strong, strong zealot, as <laughs> listed on IMDb. Um, I'm sure he would have been destroyed as well. Because the energy magic transfer... Magic. Magic. Okay, magic. It, it burns the little thing off his forehead. Magic, duh. Yeah. But, but, no, no, one of my favorite things, like, like, why are you trusting this guy? You, can you see your own eyes? You're literally <laughs> looking evil <laughs> and dead. Yeah. Your eye, I mean, look at your face. That spells evil. Your eyes are glowing red. Your eyes like, are red, he, man. He's obviously not the good guy. You can't believe this. <laughs> But the thing is, like, the, the, the scene that confused me was after that, when he came out and then, like, he's, like, been healed, he's been stitched up and now he's perfectly fine again. Yeah. Um, the Ancient One, Mordo, or Roll-Up. Yeah, they even pair in that. They have a little chat, and then they realise... What are people downtown actually doing now? It's like, why would you just forget? Yeah. You'd sort this crap out later. No, no, the H1 goes off to get changed into a fighting clothing, doesn't she? Yeah, it, oh, God. But they like, the, the, that, yeah, the fight, like, I was saying, like, the fight, the fight scene in the Mirror Universe, the Mirror, Mirror in, Universe. In uh, New York, yeah. Yeah, that, in New York. Well, I, shit just goes crazy. It goes crazy. I was half expecting there to be a scene where you've got the corridors at the back, and, like, you've got uh, Mad's character, like, going, and you see him running in the background, he goes, and runs through one, you just see him going like that, constantly. Scooby Doo style. Scooby Doo style. <laughs> oh, that would have been good. That would have been good. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, it's good, it's good, that kind of like Inception kind of mm. thing going on. So that in like a different reality they can be easily manipulated. Uh, yeah, and they can manipulate it better because reasons. Uh, uh, dark Mojo. Dark Mojo. <laughs> and then, yeah. Then and then the ancient one with a little fan of power. A fan's of power, and then she dies. She dies. Yeah, she accepts her death. Yeah, that's uh, nice. That's the way it's in slow motion. She's watching the helicopter and the lightning. Yeah, you're watching the snow. Basically saying, it's not all about you, Benedict. He's like, oh, is it not? <laughs> but I am Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, it is all about but, me. But I am Doctor Strange. I'm the main character. <laughs> of course it's about me. My name is in the title. Yeah. But it is, it is a good scene, and then she dies, and then... It literally just keeps kicking off from there, so they have to get. Yeah. They didn't have to go to the Hong Kong one, which had already been fucked over. Well, the, that's where the final battle takes place. You have. Yeah. Uh, that's where I was thinking there was going to be an Easter egg, where Wong was saying to the guys, choose your weapon wisely. I was hoping there was be some in the background with this lightsaber. Fine. Oh, oh, the, the picking up a lightsaber, it's kind of like a, like a bowcaster or something. Yeah. Just a little sort of, Maybe there was, and I just missed it. But uh, it. It was good right. the way it was good the way that obviously I think the rest of them died in the building when it exploded. So I yeah. assume when he used the time manipulation, it hit. I did enjoy that rewinding of time. That was a fun. That was a that, fun. That, that, that was, was a fun in, little scene. Yeah, especially when everything goes and then he gets trapped in like different, different places. Because the guy gets buried into a wall which is being rebuilt. Put into a woman fish gets tank. put into a fish tank and then a building gets recreated around another one and he gets like. What are you doing in that, really? Well, they just escaped from it easily. Well, yeah, they, they even made to it's, escape. It's good, but it was brutal. There was some brutal, like, things. Yeah. Like, there was a guard on the floor, his like, head smashed over, and he just goes... <laughs> like, Wong just gets taken up off his impaling, and he's like, like, yes, I'm sorry about breaking a lot of time. Do it. Do more of this. <laughs> Do more of this. <laughs> you know, um, was, we're, we're assuming the other students, or what do you call it? What do they call themselves? Masters or acolytes. Yeah, so I, I'm assuming that most of them were regenerated in the time thing. Yeah, as or well. The, or the, when they like time stopped, and the building was sort of like half collapsed, half rebuilt. Like some of them must have been in some pretty strange, strange situations. Like half of them crushed and yeah. I mean, 
you'd like to think that the rest of them sort of, sort of would survive when they yeah. round time. Well, they just, they just say Wong, that's a bit selfish. <laughs> Wong's all you need. <laughs> Wong's all you need, yeah, true. But, um, uh, yeah, the, the, the time paradox. With oh, again, Dormammu, he's yeah. like, he's almost more trick to thought to thought shit out. How many times do you reckon he died? More than we saw, probably. Yeah. I have come to negotiate the release of the bang. I've <laughs> <laughs> um, come to bargain. I've come, come to bargain, bang. Stop this madness, I am in. <laughs> yeah. It, I, I kind of want it to be um, like proper Groundhog Day. <laughs> like, I just wish, I just wish, like, I was saying to you about the Red, like, the Red Dwarf scene. Like, yeah. it's just it going over and over again, and they didn't realise it. They both didn't realise that time was going in the loop. Yeah. Like, wait, wait, wait. I'm sure you've done this before. Nah, nah. I just keep going, but I like I was saying, like, surely if he didn't kill Strange, then he could have easily stopped it from rewinding. Cause it seemed like it was tied to his death. Yeah. So as you were saying, like, if he drained the magic out of him, then, then he might have stopped the spell or something. I don't know. Or, or maybe that would have just re done it back to the beginning. I don't know. But Who knows? I think it's magic. Magic is strange. I think it's pointing out that it. Could it, he's an impatient yeah. entity? <laughs> well, he's an overpowered entity, which he's just like, yeah, you're a bug, move out of the way. But he's got it trapped in this thing, and he gets really, really annoyed. So he eventually gives up. He goes, fine, whatever. Yeah. So the other thing was after he sorts all this out, and you see it goes back to see, you see Mordo go, come on, strange, <laughs> get up. We can do this. Finish him off. Woo. And he goes like, look, fine. And then he just floats down. It's like, so strange. 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 Like, I was thinking that there was going to be two strangers. Yeah. And then one would be like, that is why you don't mess with time. <laughs> We've got this shit now to deal with. <laughs> now there's two of you. Why are you under two of you? You know, it would be a little bit of a fun scene, but it was good. Yeah. It was good. The, the, the time manipulation was pretty fun. Mm. It wasn't. It wasn't like to the point where you thought, oh, fuck it. Time man. It was a bit of a um, slightly, tiny little bit of a deus ex machina. Yeah. Just yeah. like, yeah, I'll just use the time thing, which is bad, which is bad and stuff. But only I can use it. So we'll yeah. Out. I thought he was gonna destroy it at the end. Yeah. And then we realised it's Infinity Stone. Yeah, which I yeah, do. And then he's like, oh well, can't do that now. It's gotta be time. <laughs> <laughs> what am I what am actually quite down um, with either? Because I'm like, who does an Infinity Stone? Which Infinity Stone is it? I was like thinking of it like. It's a time one, isn't it? They manipulate time with it. Why did it not come to me in the first time? Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah. It's going to happen. It has to be tied to the film somehow. Yeah. People, I think people are going to hate it, aren't they? I reckon a few of the hardcore people are like, that is not how magic works, that is yeah. not what it is. But... Oh, well. They, they changed other things. But yeah, they changed other things. But the, the, key, the key thing that's going, that leads into the after credit sequence that we did not see the last part, we saw the first part because we're not going to see We've seen the four talking to the four four was that we might be a Magnarok. Yes! Nice, yes! That He's not list on IMDb. And hopefully we get a bit more of the magical side of Adgard now that that's in because. Yeah. That will be good. Um, I think it will happen, even if it's like a small capacity. Yeah. I'm hoping it will happen because, it, as we've seen with the after credit scene, is that's what they're talking about. Um, and obviously, uh, Strange is now sort of making categoric, categoric decisions on. He's a bit like Batman at this point. <laughs> he's like, he's making profiles on the, the yeah. dangerous people in the world. And like, like, the, the extra, like the otherworldly beings who are a threat to mankind. Like, yeah, your brother Loki. Uh, he's on the list. Yeah, but why are you here in New York? He doesn't have to worry about it because he's just absorbing from existence. Yeah. So it it doesn't it's not really a big threat for him. But yeah. I think it would be cool to see him in it, mm. even in a small role, because it would be cool to see him using magic in a different environment against different things, more magical the, teams. The thing is, Loki is a magical being. Yeah. He will the magic, and you never all you, all you see from the film the illusions, which he does. Yeah. So it'd be quite nice if they actually give him actual magic now. Yeah, him along with Doctor Strange, just a little bit of a. Yeah, it would be good. But yeah, the 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 second after, the second credit sequence that we didn't we didn't see, but we sort of hint at when Mordo run, goes yeah. off. He basically goes to see. The Pangborn? guy who was paralyzed. Pangborn. I think I keep forgetting his name. Pang Pangborn. Is it Pangborn? 
Let it load up. No, I, I clicked on the enter name by accident. Oh, wow. it pa it's short, I'm sure it's pa Panball. And he, uh, he, he basically stops his magic from working, so he's yeah. crippled, paralysed again. So he's now going on a, a witch hunt. Let's go with witch hunt, yeah. Well, it's because, it's because the, the whole point of his like healing was like he's got something to believe in to destroy his enemies, to destroy his own demons. Yeah. And what are these demons? His demons are, he's probably he's not very nice. He's pretty... This has kept him quite well, chilled, quite no, but He really went there to defeat people, didn't he? Yeah. To gain power to beat people. And now I think he thinks that because but, people... But, but now he's like worked out that what was told to him was sort of a lie. Yeah, he's just he's just like fuck it now. Yeah, people, fuck it, people, that, people that shouldn't be shouldn't know his magic but shouldn't be able to wield it is yeah. basically taking this magic away from them. I don't know how he does that though. Magic. Magic. It's all magic. <laughs> you can all explain everything through magic. Magic. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's, that's that's basically your basis yeah. covered. I think. Yeah. I think. I mean, if you're watching the sports section, you've already seen the film. You know, you know the parts. There's not there's not many intricate. Parts that need very much explaining. It's all pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Throughout yeah. the film, it's I mean, we've probably missed like a load of Easter eggs and stuff. So. Yeah, it's probably quite a lot. I mean, that the room with all the the cape and all yeah. that jazz in. There's probably um, a load of artifacts in there which we know nothing about. Yeah, like the, the, that's what's in the comedy. The comedy is well paced. Yeah. Like, the whole thing where he puts his cape cape up and then, like, you know. Like, ah. Stop wiping my tears, I can do that myself. <laughs> yeah. Especially, you know, he's going to be shaving himself with his cape. Yeah, we probably could. <laughs> uh, that's the thing, is the, is the cape sentient? Or it's it magical or something. It's magical, but is it just... I gave him the gift of levitation. The attitude, that came free. Yeah. <laughs> just... Is it? But yeah. Is it? Oh, the gift of levitation. It's more than levitate. It's just, it, like, literally that kills people. Like, well done. That's a very fickle thing. Like, it's a cape! How can it have a personality? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. cape. Just floats it around. It's fucking carpet, fine carpet. Yeah, it, well, you did kind of fly with it. Yeah. Well, levitation. Oh, yeah, levitation. Well, yeah. Yeah, no. no good film, good, good film. film. They good film. did it well. Um, don't know how I could do the comics. I thought it was... Doesn't matter. I think, I, think, I think the point is, it's not the comics. It's cinematic yeah. universe. It looks like it can tie in very well with the rest of the movies. I think that, yeah, so that's why they haven't delved too much into it, because they yeah. can sort of see where You get a little bit in there, and uh, like, the Avengers deal with the mortal threats, we deal with the extraterrestrial, not extraterrestrial, uh, extra extra dimensional, dimensional threats. Um, so yeah, no, no, good stuff. Good yeah? Stuff. I'm looking for, if it's, if Mordo, if the scene for Mordo is setting up Strange, Doctor Strange 2, Yeah. We hopefully that Mordo's darker side is a better bad guy because we've seen him as a good guy. Yeah. And now hopefully we get a more substantial, complex bad guy for this. Multi-layered bad guy. Yeah. Something that's a bit more. I always like the bad guys that are likable. That's my favourite bad guy. Well, you like the bad guy, or well, you hate them so much that you like them. Yeah. They're just so evil. Yeah. We need someone like that. Yeah. We don't need blobs or gas clouds or. Rippling faces. He should have been a giant burning skull. But <laughs> and he got, he got Thanos, who's just purple. Yeah, I can't wait for them to fuck up Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, but yeah. there's gonna be so much build up, and he gets a vibe, and like, yeah, I'm it's just, it's just, just boring. Yeah. But so the next next film we're gonna probably see uh, major films probably Rogue One. I mean, Accountant we want to see. Yeah, that's good. Uh, what else? There's a, there's a few, there's a few decent ones coming out. There. I'm sure there's something else that we that's coming out. I mean, we're going to see Assassin's Creed in January. Um, they so the next Marvel film. That's no, not really. Next Marvel, well, probably, probably Logan, Logan actually. Logan. What? Logan might be. Logan's March. It's March. March. So that's oh. the next Marvel film. And, and then, then another one. Guardians two, and then Thor. Thor. And I'm sure there's another one next year because they do it in lots of three. But I can't remember which ones. When is Infinite War Part 1 then? 2018, isn't it? Then, then Part 2 is 2019. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think that went Well, we can refer to the handy yeah. Facebook, <laughs> Facebook picture that shows you everything. But anyway, we'll go short there. Uh, quick short, not really short, is it? I mean, yeah, but, you know, we'll put we'll it there. Thanks for watching. Nearly a thousand. Nearly. Come on, get subscribe, subscribe, please. I will put them pay more money. Yeah, pay, yeah, pay, yeah, you can pay, pay yeah, you as much as you want. Donate money to keep making crappy content for you. Crappy content. Crappy, boring, same as everyone else. Content. 
the bandwagon content. The same stuff as what everyone else is doing, because we're on the bandwagon. And another thing, I am going to put myself through Starship Troopers 3 at some point soon. Oh, okay, I'll draft, yeah. Nice. nice. Get them off you, get some more of these. But until that time, we'll see you next time. <laughs>